KHC Radio. Brought to you by Kisses and Hugs Club. Today's topic is five things to look for in a spouse as a single and to pray. Authored by Dunamis and Sophia Okonowo. Number one, the fear of God. Coming first on the list, and that which cannot be negotiated is the fear of God. It is the topmost thing. Beauty is not the first thing. There are strange women who are beautiful and there are wicked men who are handsome. But if you are blessed with the handsome man or a beautiful woman who also has the fear of God, then you are blessed indeed. What if you are already married and you can't see these qualities? You can pray them into the life of your spouse. God listens to prayers. Do you know why I have been faithful to my wife? Do you know why I don't have girlfriends all over the place? It's not because I'm a pastor. There are many pastors who are messing up and young girls call me every time to lodge unbelievable reports. The only reason I have not compromised is because I have the fear of God. That was what Joseph had when he ran away from a free Jeru trap. So go for the fear of God. Beware of people that have the fear of God temporarily just to get what they want. The second point, integrity and sincerity. The second on the list after the fear of God is integrity and sincerity. The scripture says something powerful. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Proverbs 11 verse 3. There is guidance in integrity. Now, if you come up with arguments like, there is no sincere man, every man is bad, and this and that, that is what you will attract. You cannot attract what you don't believe exists. Don't conclude on humanity because of your experience with one man. All men are wicked, you are wrong. All ladies are stupid, you are wrong as well. You need to renew your mind by God's word and to believe God for the best. The third thing you should look for in a spouse is physical attraction. Now this is very important and there is no need to over-spiritualize issues. Go for somebody you are attracted to. You don't want to spend the next 50 years married to somebody you don't appreciate or someone who doesn't make you proud. You sure want to get married to someone that will make you happy. If you spend half the time wishing you had married someone else because of their appearance, it will affect your productivity and you won't be able to give your best as a spouse. You want somebody that when you see him or her in the morning, some good tongues will come out of your mouth, not a scream of the blood of Jesus. Number four, mutual love and romance. There should be mutual love and romance. It is very important in marriage. You know the scriptures wants you to stay locked up with your spouse and to fill your heart with his or her thoughts. Lovely as an angel, beautiful as a rose. Don't ever quit taking delight in her body. Never take her love for granted. So says Proverbs 5.19, the message translation. And the fifth point, purpose and destiny alignment. This is last and most important point. It's the question of purpose. You have a definite assignment from God. Make sure marriage doesn't swallow up your love for God. There is nothing as terrible as being married with the total loss of fulfillment and the nagging thought that you are out of God's purpose. When you are head over heels in love, there are some things to discuss. Purpose and destiny discussions, not Jerry Trap discussions. Alignment in the mind and not just in the body. What if one is already married and is in this position? Pray to God and He will have mercy on you. 
The Bible says that Joseph dreamt yet another dream. God will give you another dream and fulfillment of heart. Be blessed. This message is brought to you by Kisses and Hugs Club. I am Uluwaloni Oke. This is KHC Radio. Brought to you by Kisses and Hugs Club.